Maja Boo. We want candy. Boo. Boo. Candy. That, that's playing. Who cares about that? Neff, when Vegeta was a villain. I wanted to see. I wanted to see what this man could do in the ring against my man's Goku. I wanted to see. Nappa. I wanted to see what this character did. I was interested in these characters. I was way more interested in than Vegeta when he was a villain. I was way more interested in Nappa. I'm interested in Frieza. I don't care about Majin Buu. I didn't care about Cell. Not really. So I'm clearing my throat, but no, false. But I didn't care. I did not care. So, yeah, man. Like th these, you know, when I look at Frieza, man, I'm like, yo, this guy is a great character. One of my favorite characters. My favorite villain of all time. Or oh, that's Miriam. I don't know. That's besides the point. So, yeah. I know what y'all gonna say. But since I know what y'all gonna say, but some eventually yeah, we ended up getting better. It's streets one. Yeah, I get that, I get that. But through the entire South Saga, all so did was growing and complain and get his butt kicked by Vegeta, Molly Wap by Vegeta, because he didn't have his perfect form. So was Patil Vegeta. Well, Vegeta, if you let me get my perfect form, I can show you a real battle. And that's all Cell did through the entire freaking Cell Saga. You ain't here, Frieza. Say that. You ain't here, old Vegeta, when Vegeta was a villain. But we went here with Nappa. You went here that with them doing the Saiyan Saga. Every Vegeta thought he was the man. Vegeta thought he was strong. He felt like, well, shoot, I'm the strongest character out here. I don't care who this monkey Goku is. I don't care who this Goku character y'all keep preaching about. I'm the strongest character in this show. That's the attitude that Vegeta went into. Freeza Saga. Frieza thought he knew, he, Frieza already knew he was the man. Frieza already knew, Frieza already knew. He's like, listen, I'm, listen, I don't care. I'm, I'm the man. You know what I'm saying? Don't, I don't let my voice fool you now. I, I may talk, I may sound gay, but I'm still the man in the, of the show. You know what I'm saying? You didn't hear that with Frieza. You didn't hear that with them. You didn't hear that with Vegeta. You wouldn't hear that from Nappa, but no. Throughout that entire Cell Saga, all you do is hear Cell complain and girl how he doesn't have his perfect form and he got molly whopped by Vegeta. You know, Vegeta Loki could have destroyed Cell had Vegeta never gave him his chance. You know? That's that. All, all, all I could get from, from the Cell Saga is that Cell stealing bodies. Cell stealing bodies. Cell, you know, trying to get strong. Like, no. The reasoning was Cell was so weak and lame. But we don't pay attention to that in Dragon Ball because all we care about is the fighting. The meaning behind Cell was so corny and stupid. He gets stronger by stealing somebody's body. Like, what? You know? It's dumb. The reasoning behind that was dumb. It's, it's, I don't know. You know, with the characters, with the Majin Buu Saga, with the characters in, um, Majin Buu Saga, in the Cell Saga, Alright, right, huh, let's stick with the Majin Saga. They, those characters in the Majin Saga, they were just villains. They were just villains. There was no meaning, there was no backstory on why they were causing so much damage, why they were doing this, why are they so powerful, why are they so strong for the sand, like for the just the regular sands to beat, why are they so strong? No, with Frieza, with Frieza, he goes into the fight. You know, once it feels like, you know, the Saiyans are already feel like they have a plan, 
when once they, they, they finally got their game plan down, Freeze is already five steps ahead. Freeze is already so many steps ahead of them. Frieza is everything that you like. He's smart, powerful, everything that you need. Everything. Vegeta, Nappa, those characters were strong. Those characters were smart. They had a lot of tricks up their sleeve. They were so unpredictable. You don't know what they were going to do next. What damage could they cause next? What else could these characters do? In the Cell Saga and the Fu Saga, you already have an idea on what these characters are doing. You already know, okay, you get it. He's like, we're flex, but okay, I get it. I catch your trip. I understand what you're trying to do. Not with the Sand Saga and the Freezer Saga. In my opinion, the characters metal in Dragon Ball is Dragon Ball. Um, especially between the Freezer Saga and the Sand Saga, they were, they were probably one of the most be best developed. You know, you know, characters, the character development, the development in those two sagas were at arcs, or I should say, were actually amazing. The arcs between, you know, with Vegeta, we know why Vegeta, you know, is there. We know why Vegeta wants to destroy. You know why? You know why? You know, you know his whole meaning. He was just a bad guy. He was strong. He's saying he thinks he's better than everybody. He thinks he's the top dog. He thinks he's all of that. Then after that, you go. Then after you go to freaking um. I mean, you go to you go to um you know he fast for a little bit he gets you know he want, he's has to change the part he has to change the part uh he has he actually ends up helping the whole helping the z fighters you know fight alongside them and so they get help down take uh, various different types of enemies in the near future um but what i liked about that fight that fight pretty much gave vegeta a reality check had goku never had that fight with um vegeta and Krillin never killed him? Who knows? Who knows what would have what what would have happened, man? Like it was crazy. Then you get on like with the, like, the development with Vegeta was a lot was great. I love the development how he was introduced as this character that thinks he's better than everybody, that he's that he's stronger than everybody. We get we understand why he was there, and then we under, you know why him why him and Nappa tried to destroy everybody. Beating him and then also with Frieza. I love the, 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 the development of Frieza, and how much he hates Sans and stuff like that, and how and just you know how the way the way he fights, his personality, all the like you know all the characters, you know, you know I loved how you know we get a chance to see you know Gohan and the Z fighters go up against uh, Frieza. Then later on during the Frieza saga, I love how we even went, I love how when we see Goku go Super Saiyan for the first time, that was great development. And Goku because he's, you know he realized he lost his best friend, so now he has to you know take things seriously. He has to you know become this powerful person so we can take down Frieza and stuff like that. That was all that was great. And then you fast forward to thinking like just Dragon Ball Super. Arc where everybody's getting transformations, Trunks is getting a transformation, Goku's getting transformation every arc, Vegeta is start, is getting uh, Vegeta he's still not he's still getting more love, but you know, you know how that goes. But Goku's getting a transformation every arc. It's all about Goku. Goku's the the, the, the pretty boy. He's the John Cena of Dragon Ball Super. And also going to Dragon Ball Super, the, the character development and that crap was awful. You know, especially with Jiren. You see Jiren. In the tournament of power art, have a Sasuke background, have a Sasuke like background, you know what I'm saying? Like Mazaku said, Jiren Uchiha. Like, what he get, like, who cares? You know, his backstory was so lame in the tournament of power. Beerus, like, why is Beerus even here? Weez. Why? Oh, even though they're not really enemies, but still. The arcs of Dragon Ball Super were so bad. Goku Black! Who? Why? Why? What happened to these new? What happened to the new fleshed out characters? What happened to all the new? Like, where are all the unique characters at? You don't get none of that. Frieza was the only unique character in Dragon Ball. Vegeta was a great villain for the time being in Dragon Ball. And then after those two arcs, it just goes downhill from there. Character development isn't that good. 
Gohan becomes weaker. All the characters become weaker. They don't adapt to the times. They all get weaker. They all, they don't have no power at all to help Goku at all. You know? It's the uses at this point. Useless. I don't care how many movies Dragon Ball Super comes out with. I don't care how much as I'm looking forward to this Broly movie. I don't care how many movies this comes out with. Dragon Ball Z will always be its own thing. And the main highlight of Dragon Ball Z will always be those two arcs. Always. The Saiyan Saga and the Freezer Saga will always be those two main points. They will always hold a special those arcs will always hold a special place in the man. Always. That will never change. Because of how the character development, how how the character development with the Frieza arc was, and the Saiyan Saga was, seeing Goku go toe to toe with Vegeta for the first time, seeing Goku go Kaioken for the first time, seeing Goku go Super Saiyan for the first time, all those were iconic moments that cannot be replaced. No matter how how many transformations Goku get, none of that, none of that. Who will replace the iconic moments in Dragon Ball Z? None of it will. Those two arts were iconic, man. Those were iconic arts. Character development was great. Side characters getting shine. You know? Hand to hand combat. Seeing side characters like Krillin get screen time. Guys with Ruby get some screen time. Krillin get a part. Each character got their own part. Piccolo had one of the most iconic deaths in anime history. Vegeta had one of the most iconic deaths in anime history. Those will never be replaced. Those will always be memorable. Those will always be classic moments in Dragon Ball. None of that can replace. It. That's why I think Dragon Ball Z. That's why I think the, the uh, Sand Saga and the Freezer Saga are the greatest arcs in Dragon Ball history.